From Zach Bagans The Haunted Museum to the Museum of Shadows, there are a lot of museums around the world with haunted items. I'm Melissa Malati, your host, and here are your top 10 terrifying museums that are hiding possessed objects. Coming up at our number 10 spot, we have Zach Bagans The Haunted Museum. Zach Bagans The Haunted Museum is called a haunted museum for a reason. Located in Las Vegas, there's some pretty scary stuff in there. It is known for having possessed objects and it is proud to do so. From a painting with the real ashes of Charles Manson painted into the eyes of a portrait of him, to Ted Bundy's glasses, this is a museum with some of the most low vibe items from some of the worst criminals and so obviously it would be haunted and the items would be possessed. I mean, they advertise it in the name, so they own it. In our number nine spot, we have the Swansea Museum. The Swansea Museum is said to have one very possessed item, the Swansea Devil. This is an item that looks like the devil and people have confirmed that they definitely think it is haunted. It has a pretty interesting backstory actually. In 1890, an architect by the name of Sir Arthur Bloomfield beat out a local architect for the job of rebuilding the ancient St. Mary's Church, and the local architect was not okay with it. Apparently, a few years later, he ended up purchasing a row of cottages facing the church, and so he tore them down and built a large red brick building there, and he put a statue of a smiling devil on it. He then placed a curse on the church, proclaiming it to be destroyed and that the devil will look upon it and its rebel smiling. <laughs> Yikes. Jeez, I love that he wants to rebuild a church, a place for love and forgiveness, and then because he doesn't get his way, he fully does everything that he can to make the church a negative place. Clearly a man who studies the Bible and its teachings. Not. <laughs> Perhaps he didn't get the job because the priests sensed how insane he clearly was. Anyways, the devil statue resides in this museum and it's clearly haunted. In our number eight spot, we have the Royal Scottish Museum. Ah, the Royal Scottish Museum. That was British, not Scottish, Melissa. <laughs> It honestly sounds like a classy place to go to. Probably because of the word royal, but whatever. Apparently this museum is slightly terrifying because it is the holder of one very possessed item. An item so haunted that if you touch it, you will die. As well as your family. Not joking. The woman from Leb statue is at this museum and it has been known to belong to many, many families that have all passed away after owning it. Within only six years of owning it, all seven members of this one family passed away. This actually happened a few times until it was donated to the museum. The artifact is said to be from 3500 BC, but was found in Cyprus in 1878. So yeah, to say that the museum is showcasing a possessed object would be an understatement. In our number seven spot, we have the Louvre. The Louvre, located in France, is one of the most beautiful museums in the world. Honestly, it is one of my favorite places to visit in the world, even though it definitely has one or two or 10 possessed paintings on display. From Dante and Virgil in Hell, to the Sabine woman, to the children of Edward, to St. Peter of Verona, I have literally made another whole video on the haunted paintings at the Louvre because there's just so many. But of course, there would be. The Louvre houses some of the greatest artists in the history of the world. Of course there will be some art that is created when a human is having a bad day, but also there are evil people that paint, and that energy would certainly come through in their paintings. But honestly, the Louvre is magical even with the possessed paintings. Put a visit to it on your bucket list for sure. In our number six spot, we have the Mutter Museum. The Mutter Museum, located in Philadelphia, is a museum that once started out as a sort of, you know, Ripley's Believe It or Not, and eventually turned into, well, something else. An American medical inventor by the name of Dr. Thomas Mutter donated a bunch of tools and got it off the ground. It's a museum where you can find some odd medical items such as an amputation kit from the Civil War and my personal favorite, a long human colon that apparently once had 40 pounds of, well, poop. I'm a classy gal. The area that people believe is filled with some possessed items is called the bone room. Huh, I wonder why. It is a room filled with human skulls. 139 skulls, in fact. Lord knows why. They probably all come alive at night like the movie Night at the Museum. Creepy. The skulls all have descriptions as to how their owners passed away. Like an odd little memorial. Not spooky at all. In our number five spot, we have the Museum of Death. 
The Museum of Death, located in Los Angeles, California, USA, is one of Hollywood's horror museums in my opinion. It apparently has the largest selection of artwork from serial killers. So yeah, it definitely possesses one or two haunted items. Oh, and did I mention that the museum has a head as one of its items on display? Yeah, what the heck, right? It's the head of French serial killer Henri Landru. There are crime scene photos from the Manson murders and also many execution devices. Gosh, as terrifying as this all sounds, why do I still want to go? Curiosity always wins. In our number 4 spot we have Vent Haven Museum. The Vent Haven Museum is located in Kentucky and not gonna lie, it fully gives me the creeps. It was created by a man by the name of William Shakespeare Berger. <laughs> Great name. The museum is famous for its doll collection. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I loved dolls before Most Amazing. Now I find them terrifying. Hopefully I never have to do a haunted Barbie video while working here because that will probably destroy all of my happy childhood memories. <laughs> Anyways, apparently this museum has 800 dolls. Yeah, a lot of people say that they are haunted, but honestly, if you walked into a space with that many dolls, I'm sure you probably would think that too. In our number three spot, we have the Museum of Shadows. Apparently, this museum has gained a reputation for being one of the most haunted museums in the US. It is located in Nebraska, USA. Apparently, it was once a brothel, so maybe that explains the initial low vibes, but in any case, it allegedly has over 1,000 possessed objects from all over the world. There are many reports of paranormal activity coming from the objects over the years, but also people have witnessed ghosts in this place and have heard laughter from time to time. Lovely. In our number two spot, we have the Lizzie Borden Bed and Breakfast Museum. This is probably one of the scariest museums that I have ever come across, and that is because it is literally a former crime scene. It was previously the home of Lizzie Borden and her family, and this is the place where two of her family members, if you haven't heard the story of Lizzie Borden, well, she was accused of killing her father and stepmother, and most believe this to be true, even though she was set free of all charges. They turned her house into an overnight museum and the place is filled with gruesome photos that are in the rooms where the bodies were found. Apparently there is a celebration breakfast ready for you if you survive the night. Kind of terrifying and awesome at the same time. Most likely this place has a few possessed items lying around. In our number one spot we have the Warren Occult Museum. The Warren Occult Museum in Connecticut is a museum that was opened by Ed and Lorraine Warren in the 80s and the items inside are items that they accumulated on their travels to help free spirits and clear homes. The number one most haunted and supposedly dangerous item in their possession that is possessed is the Annabelle doll, of course. They also have a doll called the Shadow Doll that goes into people's dreams and supposedly stops their heart while they sleep. There is a large man structure that was used for satanic rituals and a human skull used for black magic. I mean, the list goes on and on. <laughs> These guys aren't even hiding their possessed items, they're just owning them and showcasing them for the world to all get creeped out. Okay, that brings us to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Melissa Milotti, your host. Follow me on Insta or YouTube at Melissa Milotti. I will see you next time. As always, have a good day. Psa. Double hair flip today. Henri Landru. I can't say that in an accent. Henri Landru. There we go. <laughs> it's the head of French serial killer Henri Landru. There are <laughs> there are some French persons gonna be watching this and <laughs> shaking their head at my pronunciation. <laughs> to the dub dub dubuck? To the dubuck box, is that right? Have you heard that one before? Dubuck? Dib dibuck? Shoot. Du dip dibuck? Dibuck? I'ma just I'ma just erase it, cause whatever. Mm -hmm.